I am going to attempt to refinish this pool. I'm a uh, true beginner with pools, although I have some experience with tile and remodeling and stuff like that. But this pool is old and is uh, really badly needed to refinish. Very rough um, floor causing your feet to get all torn up. So first thing I did was I drained the pool with a little pump I got from Harbor Freight. And then uh, the next thing I did was I knocked out all the tile around the edges, which I'm getting ready to replace right now. Um, so after I knocked down all the tile, I cleaned that up, sweeped it up. Then I pressure washed the whole thing. And then I did a little acid wash after that. And then I just removed all the fittings. They just basically just screw on real easy. Uh, the jets and the light and the pool drain there at the bottom. So my next step right now is I want to tile it first because um, the tile is going to go to this little lip. And then when I go to do the plaster, I want the plaster to come up to the tile rather than doing the plaster first and then trying to put the tile on top of that. I think that will work better. So next step is to do the tile. So I started putting up the tile and uh, it's been going really smooth and nicely. Maybe one of the smoothest and best uh, tile jobs I've ever got to do. But I started working on this at 10 a.m. And, uh, you know, that's with chiseling off all the old stuff from where the tile was. Uh, not the all the tile, but just like the high spots where this was. And uh, sponging it all down, mixing my mud, d doing my little layout and everything. And this is how much tile I've gotten done. And it's only 12 o'clock, 12.25. So in two hours, I've gotten all this done. And I think I'll be able to get the whole pool tiled today, this whole top part. Um, but super easy. I use an eighth inch, eighth inch trowel with uh, just some white thin set and a margin trowel, a wash bucket to wash everything up. And I uh, bought these glass mosaic tiles from Home Depot and a radius two by six bull nose. And um, it's been going really smoothly so far. I think it looks good. So, all right. So I have finished the tile. I'm doing the cider crete repair as you can see i've had to do a lot of repair on this pool and so i've done all the sides where it met the tile which was like the worst spots and now i'm starting to work on the floor these are the kind of holes i'm trying to fill up these here and there's several and when i started working with this cider repair stuff it's my first time working with it and they give you instructions here on the bag, but they're a little bit vague. And so if you hadn't worked with it before, it was a little bit scary for me at first. I started with these big areas. And what had happened was, is that I mixed up basically this whole bag because I knew I was going to need a lot, but I mixed it up too dry. Um, because all it says is that to make it to a uh, homogenous mixture, which... What does that mean? So I mixed it up dry and it wasn't adhering to the pool, even though I used the resin, which is over there. It was giving me a big problem. So here are a few things, that I, mistakes I made that I would recommend not making. One is mix up the consistency of your mud pretty wet. See how wet that is? That's, that's at least probably how wet you wanna make it that's been the best consistency for me number two is i got three different types of tools here this drywall uh knife this flat trowel and a margin trowel and i started with this one in the big areas but really the best tool so far has been this one the reason why is because it, it flexes well and as it flexes you can make the curves of the pool and you can, um, you know, fill in and clean up your mud a lot better. Uh, and then the third thing that I did wrong was, I'm just showing you how this fills in. Just 
down that hole and I uh, see this one is a good example. This works well, but on something like this, it needs a little bit more mud to get it flat. On something like this, because it's a wider hole, I will use this trowel and just make it flat, like so. The key is you want to have your trial to be able to to be on both sides of the hole because if your trial is only long enough to get half of the hole then you dig in when you're trying to go over it so you want to have it on both sides so that it's leveling out that mud as it goes over the hole but anyways the third thing that i did wrong was i didn't remove that blue tape before this thing dried so i figured i'd leave it up there so that when i plastered with the the white plaster at the end I'd have my tape up there I could just leave it for both jobs but this is dried so hard that now this tape is just ripping when I try to remove it at where the concrete is so if I would have taken it off wet it would have come off nicely and left a nice line but because I left it on there it's going to be a pain to get that tape off and get that line back but that's it for now. Okay, so I finished all the side of repair. I have it taped off. What I did was I used the leaf blower and after I swept and got all the big stuff out, I used the leaf blower to blow all the dust away. And then I used a bucket and sponge to sponge the area I'm gonna do to make sure I get as much of the dust and debris out of there as possible. I taped off the edges. And now I'm about to roll on the cider repair, or the cider roll on plaster. So I started rolling on the plaster and uh, it's going pretty easily so far. Started thick, which is probably you know, not necessary. Uh, so I started thinning it out a little bit more. I came, it came with the uh, trowels and I got the kit for the tools. So these are helpful and uh, here is the mud it's dried up on me a little bit so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it and mix it up and, and then keep going but that's one bucket so far so not bad looks good first coat is almost complete Looks good. Just finished the uh, floor. Uh, still on the first coat, but just finished all the first coat. And uh, looks good. I tried to use a grout float on the floor, thinking that that was going to be easier because I saw on someone's review that they tried that but I still prefer the roller. I switch back to the roller. So even though, like they said, the roller does get heavy after you use it for a while, it still coats and floats the cidercrete uh, better than the grout float was for me. I'm about to uh, start on the second coat. Almost finished. Um, before I do, I'm retaping a tile again. I feel like that gives me the cleanest line. Uh, looks good, so but it's kind of a pain in the butt to tear off the tape and redo it again. And actually, with the with the plaster, the white plaster, it was easier to take the tape off when it was dry. But with the cider creed, I think it was because I had to use so much. I had to put it on so thick that it was definitely harder to get off. So you might not have to take the tape off um, if you do the plaster just the side of it. But what I was going to show you is before I put on the final um, coat here, I'm going around with a trowel and just knocking off all the loose little bits of um, rock and, and high spots on the first coat because I noticed when I was doing the ground after I had done the sides that when you get those little rocks and stuff in your plaster, 
of the dry stuff, it makes it a lot more difficult. It makes it a lot uglier. So should have done that the first one, but that's what I'm doing first. And then I will uh, clean that all up and come back with the final coat. I am happy to say that the pool is complete and filled up. I'm very excited. Got the new light in there. Got all the water filled up. Got the jet circulating. I'm going to add the chemicals soon. Um, we're very excited. It looks good. It was hard work, but uh, we saved a couple thousand dollars. So I think it was worth it. Um, just the, the hardest parts, really. Uh, was keeping the pool clean the whole time and uh, and um, just just the labor it was just hard hard labor but uh, I did it by myself so overall went really well and that'll do it definitely recommend Cider Crete if you're up for the challenge of redoing the pool yourself <laughs>